Hey everyone, welcome back to Wasted Paycheck Garage. Today's video is going to be about valve covers. And the reason I have two brand new valve covers sitting here is because this valve cover especially, but the stock 300 valve cover, even the one that's on my other engine, which is shaped like this, doesn't have the low cutout in it, will not clear roller rockers. Now, I don't have my roller rockers yet, but I know for a fact that they will not clear the factory valve cover. And so I got to shopping around. Uh, Clifford used to make one, but unfortunately they don't make it anymore, and they're very hard to come by. So I got to looking, and the only other option, really, is the Aussie Speed one, which is $350. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm poor, and... I just didn't want to spend $350 on a valve cover. So I bought these two brand new aftermarket valve covers for $30 a piece. And the reason I have two of them here is because I'm going to cut them both in half. And so what I'm going to do is cut one of them somewhere in here. And then I'm gonna take and cut the other one somewhere up here. And then I'm gonna take this tall bottom section and weld it to a top tall section. So I should gain about an inch to an inch and a half under the valve cover. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to do clearancing here. I don't know if there's rockers that sit anywhere near these, um, these baffles, but I mean, I can burn that bridge when I get to it. But that's the plan so far. I'm going to cut these in half and weld them back together and make one taller valve cover. Now I'm going to use tape as a guide for my uh, cutoff wheel. I think that's what I'm going to use as a cutoff wheel. I'm going to use tape as a guide. I'm just eyeballing this. But it looks like I got it pretty straight. So I'm going to cut right along that bottom edge. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. somewhere up here and then I'll have my two pieces that I'll weld together. I'm just going to tack them for now until I get the rockers and make sure everything clears but this is what the process is going to look like. So this is what I've got. I'm going to cut on top of this line which is at one and three quarters from this flange and then I'm going to cut on the bottom of this line which is a half inch from this flange. So that should give me about an inch and a quarter gain and make this valve cover go from three and a quarter to four and a half inches tall, somewhere in there. Hopefully it doesn't look too ridiculous. When I get done with it, I'm gonna smooth it all out, paint it, and then hopefully put a decal on the top. It looks pretty good. So we will see. Alright, so I got the first valve cover cut in half. These baffles here will stay with the top on the other one and they should slide right into this one. And hopefully it'll work out perfect so I won't have to re-weld any of the baffles in. So we'll see. I'll work on getting the other one cut in half and then I can lay it on here and see what it looks like. Hopefully the fitment's not too bad. This is what the second half looks like. It's not too bad, a little wavy. This baffle did stay with this side of the valve cover though, so I'm gonna have to remove this one to make it fit in that valve, other half of the other valve cover. But I'm gonna line them up and see how, just how bad the fitment is. And I'll update you guys in a minute. Now, I know what you fellas are thinking. Goodness gracious, that thing's ugly. Well, 
Yeah. Jay, hang on just a second. Let your peeper soak it in. I think it's gonna grow on you. Probably not. Um, I think once I get it uh, cleaned up, get it welded, smoothed out, no one will even know I did anything to it. Nope. Anyways, I got a lot of cleaning up and sanding and welding. And, uh, oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, well. So I gotta get this cleaned up in here, get all these burrs off here. Um, and then I'll, uh, you know, zzz, 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 until it's all, you know, one piece. And then uh, I get to, until it's smooth again. And then I'll have one valve cover. This side came out really good. I think it's gonna look okay, and I think it's gonna clear the roller rockers like I wanted it to. Probably not. But, uh, cool little experiment, I guess. But that's gonna be it for this portion of the video, I think. So, uh, thanks for hooking your eyes on it. Till next time.